All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. Today is a super exciting day. We're back here at Ducati of Santa Barbara with the Beast, the S1000RR, and today we're gonna be installing a full carbon fiber gas tank from Full Six that we got through Manny at Moto Million, and I've been waiting for this. It's one of the first ones in the entire world. I think it was the first one in the entire world that came off their assembly line. They sent it straight to us, and today you're gonna get to see it. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna find out what the weight difference is over the stock one. We're gonna finally get to install it, and, and, the, and then pretty much all the color on the bike is almost gonna be gone today, except for the front fairing, which we'll do next. And you guys are gonna really start to get an idea of how this build's gonna look when we're done. So I'm super, super excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here she is right here. Teens would normally be doing this unboxing. She'll be stopping by later. She just had uh, wheels put on the, uh, the new C8 Corvette, so we'll get to see those in a minute once she stops by. But here it is, guys, the bell of the ball, full carbon fiber gas tank from Full Six that we got through Manny at Moto Million, one of the first in the world. And look at how freaking sick this thing is, guys. We even have a carbon fiber gas tank cap that we're gonna be putting on there. But we also got from Manny at Moto Million from TWM Special Components. And then we're gonna need to transfer over the um, fuel assembly. And the inside of this tank is Kevlar. It's Kevlar lined, so we don't have to do anything with the inside. It'll just be ready to go with gas. So I am super excited. Look at that thing, guys. Holy hell. What? We'll throw this on a scale. We'll weigh it with the other one. Find out how much weight we're gonna save, but I think it'll at least be a few pounds with this bad boy. Okay, so first order of business, pull this tank off so that we can disassemble it. And then we'll go from there. You've done the whole. <laughs> it's so naked, look at that. That's hilarious. After this, we'll only have one more piece left that has any sort of paint on it, which will be this one. That will get replaced in the next episode. Remember we did take care of this? Yes, oh yeah, you, you button all that up. Yep. That looks much better, thank you. Okay, so one thing we noticed is uh, there's heat shielding on the bottom of the stock tank. And I just chatted with Manny and he said, we should try and transfer this over if we can, um, because the new tank doesn't have any heat shielding. So Rory's gonna take his time and use his uh, ship mass building experience. Sail making, fuck yeah. <laughs> Sail making experience. And uh, get that puppy off and we'll transfer it over to the full six tank. Do you think we'll use some of that silicone to yeah. adhere it, adhere, adhere it? Adhere it. Adhere it, thank you, to the uh, carbon tank. And then we're gonna remove the fuel pump, get that out of there, and then we can weigh these two and see what the difference is in weight. I'll be honest, guys, I've worked with a lot of mechanic, and I've seen a lot of people do work, and some very good ones, too. Rory is pretty damn meticulous. Something as stupid as just getting some heat shield off. Like, man, he'll, he'll literally sit here and take 15, 20 minutes just to get this thing off and get it off perfect, in perfect condition. Flat right. Yeah, it's the patience he has, is it's very impressive. I do not have patience for this kind of stuff. I would have already broken this thing and been at the bar drinking. Actually, they're not open, so never mind. All right, so we got the heat shielding off. We're gonna save that for the new tank. Next line of business is removing the fuel pump and then we can weigh this bad boy, see how much it weighs. He is pulling the fuel pump out right here. It's so interesting to see how different they look compared to like the Panigale and stuff. So, wow, that is a lot of stuff in there. So that's crazy. So all this shit is just covered in fuel in there? Yeah. All these electrical lines and shit? It's a mechanical fuel guy. Huh. All right, so this is some sort of Chinese puzzle here. It's actually more Japanese. <laughs> it's <just> Japanese style. <laughs> Japanese puzzle. Um, I think he's gonna take a little bit of it apart so we can see if we can finagle this thing out of here. It's so weird. I've never seen a mechanical pump like that, or a mechanical uh, gauge, fuel gauge. There we go. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. How, yeah, are you, how are you gonna know how to get that thing in the next one? You know. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like a, literally like a commode fucking thing. Look at that. That is the weirdest thing ever. It's not, because look at all our fucking Ducatis and every other car we're replacing fuel level centers. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That stops that. It might be uh, pain in the ass, but I'd rather do this once than yeah, yeah. the number of fucking And then it works. Before. Yeah. Okay, so we got all the fuel out of the tank. Next thing we'll do is remove the uh, gas cap because we do need to reuse some of the parts, I believe, for the new uh, fuel cap. So we're just going to remove all that stuff in there and then we can weigh this. So I lied. Now we can finally weigh it once we get this out of there because then it'll be uh, fair. We'll have nothing on the tank. Each one weigh them, see what they uh, weigh. Yeah. Okay, okay, so there we go. Oh, There's look, the top sneaky. off. Oh, they snuck two more in This there. is what we're replacing. 
Yeah, so that's, yeah, we're replacing this. This we'll goes away. Yeah, yeah, we'll use this piece here. Yeah, I believe. I believe that's how it works. I don't know. I've well, only done them on the Ducatis, right? Look who just showed up. Tina Wieners and Jeremy. Are you filming me? I'm filming you, you filming me. Hey, those what wheels look badass. Wow. I, that actually, like that completely changes the look. Now it looks proper. And, and actually now, look at the freaking calipers too. They really stick out. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love the Corvette. Yeah. It says Corvette. You should park every time you park. That has to be down here, down there, so you so can read it. it. Yeah, so you can read it. No, that looks that looks really really good. It's beautiful. Wow. So that's the new uh, 2020 C8 Corvette. If you guys haven't seen it in my other videos, Tina Wiener's car. Well, kind of both of ours, but pretty much hers. <laughs> it's basically mine. It's basically hers. <laughs> That looks so much better. Like, Holy it's a whole new shit. Car when you look at it, it's a whole new car. Yeah, that's Pim Teens. That was the move. We got a high wing going on next too. So if you guys want to see more of this car, check out Christina's channel. Make sure you're subscribed and follow us on Instagram as well. And I'll be doing some videos too. But uh damn, that looks good. It's beautiful. Hell yeah. Okay, now we can pull this bad boy out. Just come here. We we're questioning what the unique hole was. What was it for? It's a clitoris. That is hilarious. That is. Tickle, tickle. What, what is this? Like, literally, what is that? It looks like a vent. A vent. It's mechanical. Uh, uh, so, probably tip over, something like that. Oh, okay. Maybe shuts the bike off or something? Yeah. Okay. It's Interesting. So, yeah, that, it is supposed to look that way. <laughs> okay, so got the stock tank on there. It's completely stripped, and it weighs in at 5.5 pounds. So five and a half pound stock, actually a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would be like seven and a half, but five and a half pounds, let's see what the carbon one weighs. All right, so we got the carbon one on there and it's pretty much three pounds. We'll call it three pounds. It's like just a hair over three pounds. So, so from five and a half pounds to three pounds, that means two and a half pounds of weight savings. Hey, I'll take anything we can get. I thought it would be a little bit more. Yeah, but this is gonna look really good when we're done. So I'm happy with that. So I just noticed on the other clip, all of this grease that they put on to get the tires to get onto the rim. Uh, I guess their pressure washer wasn't working at the Corvette, at the Chevy dealer. So we just went and grabbed some rags and we're just wiping it off ourselves. So it actually does look a lot better. Look at that. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. Look at that guys. Right? Fuck, that's incredible guys. Okay, so Rory in the meantime, transferred over the original stuff onto the uh, carbon tank. Looks really freaking good. Yeah, so it shows you everything that you're doing. Train technician. <laughs> a tra I'll do. A train technician. Yeah, you're good. good you're good enough. Okay, I'll do. Yeah, you're good enough. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so this is interesting. The top of this, the carbon piece, they just press in. These are like one-time use. So I think they're just going to press right in there. We get one chance, Rory. Don't screw it up. Look at Eminem. There we go. Actually, hold on, they're leaving. I want to see the car real quick. Better put that lift up. Let's see if it's gonna scrape. Oh no, you're good. Look at that thing. Oh, see you guys. I just wanted to see, I wanted to see how close it was. You had like an inch, you had like an inch. Did you Did you have the front end up? Yeah, so we're gonna definitely need to remember that location. That way we don't have to deal with it every time. Cool, all right. Yeah, have fun guys. Car looks sick. Oh God, I love cars. All right, how did it go? Wow, damn. Dude, that's a really good match. And then there you go, quick release. Damn, dude. That looks really, really good. So of course, all this is from Manny at Moto Million, uh, full six carbon fiber. That's kind, uh, of, that's kind of noise. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That, mm -hmm. that really is beautiful. Cool. <laughs> Check this out. Move this, or use this tool. They sent this with the uh, gas cap, the carbon gas cap. Uh, if you need to re remove the flange, it's a guitar pick. <laughs> How funny is that? Just like a super, super thick one. That's wild. I could never use that. Anyhow. All right, so time to put the fuel pump in the new tank. He's just greasing it on up. Here we go. Let's see how long this takes us. I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> I don't either, dude. I can go back and, and watch the clip if you want. Well, that was actually a lot easier that way, huh? Man, that is a weird assembly. I don't cool. remember how the... 
Okay, just putting those tiny screws back in the side there, and it should be all back together. We, we couldn't film it, but Jared actually <laughs> did put the screws in. Yeah. No bullshit. See? We, we said he did it. <laughs> I actually do stuff now and then when needed and when told what to do. <laughs> okay, so putting the flange back on there, hold everything down. Rory was smart enough to mark which way it went because I thought it was the opposite direction. <laughs> I was trying to tell him he was wrong. Actually, I wasn't wrong because the tank was upside down. First of all, you're American, so you're never wrong. I'm so, never wrong because yeah. I'm American, right? We're always right. But uh, yeah, now we're just putting the flange back on. And then I think, well, what would we, be, what would we do next? Some, there's some hardware we need to transfer over, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and some grommets too up here. I'm not, maybe I'll grab those in a while for us. Guys, check out this lantern Rory has. Where'd you get that bad boy? It's a, uh, what's left of Ming's restaurant? Ming's? Ming's was infamous in, if you ever lived in Houston or in Austin, Ming's. Ming's? Ming's Chinese. Interesting. Is it, is it not open anymore? Close. Uh, so the man who owned it was Faye, Faye Charles, and he used to ride Ducatis and BMWs, an incredible, incredible rider. Part of the family. And he was very, very good to me. Part of the and family. He died nearly a year ago. And the, and the restaurant went? Uh, no, nearly two years ago. No, he closed before then. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, rest in peace. And that's part of me. So anyone from Houston or Austin will, will, will know, know that that's yeah. one of the lands hanging That's in. so cool. But it's just a, a brass well nut, or a brass nut into the carbon. You go too fast. If you fuck it, you're not. It's just as simple. <laughs> yeah. So it pays to be cautious, it pays to be prudent. Yeah, I was asking him like how he knows when it's tight enough and everything like that. He said just from feel, just from experience. And then he's also going, tightening them down in like a star pattern and just being really careful. Thank like, you, Ducati and ethanol <laughs> fucking fuel tanks. Yeah, seriously. All right, transferring over hardware next. Little clips for some bolts. Should be easy enough. It'll be interesting to see how the tank fitment is once we uh, go to actually put it on. Hopefully everything fits nicely, huh? Because there's not much play in something like this. All right, so Rory just cleaned off the surface here. And the last thing we're gonna do is add this heat shielding and we're gonna use the the same um, silicone, black silicone that we got to do the uh, frame carbon frame covers because it works so well. So we're gonna use that to attach the heat shielding to the bottom of the tank and then we should be good to go. All right, we got our cake all uh, lit, <laughs> nice and icing it up. Go this way, yeah. What? Yeah, that was the top lip. Yeah, hey, I'm glad you remember because I don't. Yeah, it can only go that way. Yeah, that makes sense. We get one chance, Rory. M&M, mate. One chance. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so we got the heat shielding all on. Looks freaking nice and like Rory did a hell of a job, look at that. And what we're gonna do is just set it on there because this will have to come back off once we do, once we remove the uh, rear subframe for paint. So for now, we're just gonna set it on there. That way it keeps the heat shield in place. And oh my God, guys, look at that. It looks so badass. Yeah, there's one right there. Good Lord, folks. Look at that. That looks incredible. <laughs> wow. Damn. I really like the the gas cap with the blue accent on there. That that is a nice, a very nice touch. Man, that is incredible. I, I I used to not be a huge fan of gloss carbon, but I'll tell you what, man, when it's done right, it looks really, really good. <laughs> All right, so I think that's where we're gonna stop today. Next video, we're gonna do all the carbon on the front. So we'll do the carbon front fairing and then the side fairings that go underneath that. And um, I'll tell you what, man, this looks, this looks freaking insane. Like that is just, that is, that is ridiculous. Wow. I'm just, I'm shocked. And I mean, the bike's in pieces right now and it still looks freaking crazy. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to help support these projects and be entered to win this bike when we're done, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. And uh, make sure you're subscribed. Turn that bell notification on so you never miss a video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.